Hey everybody, so another trade to talk about. Um, Columbus and Ottawa seem to be uh, exclusive trade partners here as they continue to make deals. Obviously, they made the Matt Duchesne deal that sent Duchesne to Columbus. Now Ryan Dezingle is going to Col Columbus, so it seems like all of these guys on the radar for Ottawa uh, are, are becoming Columbus Blue Jackets. So Columbus is taking the best players out of Ottawa and... Uh, giving Ottawa a lot of draft picks in return, basically. Um, so Ryan Dezingle having a really, really good year could potentially score 30 goals this year. Um, you know, someone who who isn't, you know, a huge name, hasn't, you know, for most of his career, hasn't been this kind of high-level goal scorer, but uh, he's having a really good year this year. And uh, Columbus obviously looking for more offense, have brought in Duchesne, now they've brought in Dezingle, um, and, and they can, you know, obviously they're gearing up for a deep, deep playoff run. Uh, at this point, I would say Bobrovsky and Panarin are going to stay, and Columbus is just going to take the chance of them walking in free agency. Columbus is all in on this season. They, they are really trying to put together a team that can make a surprise Stanley Cup run and, and and possibly win a Stanley Cup this season because they are all in on this year. And, you know, if if none of these guys end up staying in Columbus after this year, that's going to be um, a team that's, that's really going to be hurting. But they are not thinking about the future with these deals. They are going all in for this season. So... Uh, Ottawa in return gets Anthony Duclair, a 2020 second round pick and a 2021 second round pick. So Columbus has just given up their second round for the uh, next two, uh, not counting 2019, for 2020 and 2021. Um, so Columbus is, is giving up really their future for this season. Um, they, they've given up so many draft picks at the deadline already, and rumor has it that they're also in on getting Mark Stone from Ottawa, so we'll see if that deal goes through. Goes through. I don't know how many assets Columbus would even have left to land Mark Stone, but um, Duke, I mean, Duclair, that's no loss. Um, he, he has never been able to find his footing at the NHL level, and uh, he I, I don't think that's really much of a loss. And, you know, Columbus is willing to throw these draft picks to other teams in exchange for the potential to win a Stanley Cup this season. So uh, Dezingle, really, really uh, interesting player who, who's really come into his own this year offensively, goal scoring wise. And uh, Columbus obviously hopes that he can keep that up through the playoffs. And uh, they, they, Ottawa, they are just, uh, they are stacking up on draft picks, which makes sense. I mean, they're, they're the worst team in the league. They're not, uh, go, they're, I, they're not going to be good anytime soon, in my mind. They don't have their first round pick from this year. Colorado has it uh, from the original deal that brought Matt Duchesne to Ottawa. Um, and that's probably going to end up being the first overall pick that they don't have. Um, so that really sucks for them, but they're they're starting to acquire more and more draft picks, getting some, you know, some first rounders for um, Duchesne, getting the second rounders for Dezingo. I Mark Stone that should that should bring them back. He should bring them back at least one first round pick. Um, so so they're they're starting to build up their their draft picks again, and uh, that they're, they're gonna. Use those to build for the future because they're they're not going to be good anytime soon. I don't think. Um, so, you know, obviously Columbus is not worried about the future right now. Um, they they're a team that that uh, is going exclusively all in on this year, and then a, you know maybe they can re-sign some of these guys. If they don't, that's going to be a very hollow lineup come next season. But um, you know, it might be. <laughs> Might be rebuild time in Columbus, but they won't have any of these draft picks because uh, they, they're trading them all away for this year. So I think it's interesting to see Columbus go all in like this because if they don't win the cup this year and these guys all walk in the offseason, that, that's not going to be good. But I would think Columbus would be able to keep at least a few of them to the point, at least to the point where they won't be absolutely awful next year. Um, 
And then, uh, you know, we've talked about Ottawa and what they're doing. Um, again, this is interesting. Two second-round picks. I talked about this in the in the last Dallas video. We're not seeing these first, we're not seeing first round picks really move. Um, Dezingle, I mean Brian Boyle fetched a second round pick. Ryan Dezingle gets you two and a player who's not really worth a whole lot in my mind. And Anthony Duclair, he's just a body to have for Ottawa at this point. Um, but, you know, you would think that someone, you know, Brian Boyle gets a second round pick. You would think that Dezingo would fetch a first, but uh, he gets two, gets Ottawa two seconds instead, uh, which, I mean, I guess isn't a huge deal. And Columbus obviously doesn't have the first anymore because they got, they sent it to Ottawa from, for Duchesne. So, you know, I just, I'm surprised that Ottawa couldn't have looked elsewhere to a team that did have a first round pick and get a first rounder for Dezingo, given the fact that Boyle fetched a second. Dezingo, you know, listen, I love Brian Boyle. He's a great player, but he's a great fourth liner. Dezingo could potentially be a 30 goal scorer this year. So th there's obviously a big difference there, but as far as the draft pick compensation, it's not that big of a difference. So. It's just, that's just it's been interesting to me watching all these deals happen and see how how few t how little you know first round pick action we're seeing. But again, the the biggest names haven't been moved yet. So uh, with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. The links to all the social media pages are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon page and merchandise store are in the description as well. Uh, keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.